we are going to be going over our 3.1 hands-on task. So we're going to be dividing fractions and we're going to be modeling with fraction tiles and with pictures what this represents. So we're going to start with 7 eighths. So that is what we have. We have 7 eighths of something and we're going to represent that using 1 eighths. So we're going to use the unit fractions. So there's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I want to know how many groups of one fourth can fit into these seven eighths. So I'm going to cover each of these up and I need to go all the way and make sure all of them have a one fourth underneath them. So even though this one isn't filled up, I still need it. So we're going to take this fraction tile model that you've made and we're going to draw it out now. So what that looks like, so we have this here so here you have this on your paper. So I'm going to put this into the eighths on the top. So there's four of them. So there are my eighths and I'm going to shade in the ones that I have. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's my seven eighths. I'm going to look at my model and I can see every time I have two of these eights, right, that equals one fourth. So I'm going to cut it there. So there's my one fourth, there's another fourth, another one, and I have to show this one as well. So now I'm going to start circling the parts that are completely filled in and match up. So I have this one here that's completely filled and matches up. So there is one group. These ones are completely matched up, right? So you can see these two go to this one, these two go to this one. So there's a second group. These two go to that fourth. So there's three fourths. Now this one here is not completely filled in. So this is where I have to put on my thinking cap I have one of these pieces, one of these. This is where your fraction comes in. How many should I have to fill up this group? I should have, right? There's two in each of these. I should have two. So my final answer is three and a half. If I have seven eighths and I want to know how many fourths go into that. Three whole fourths, right? And then this is a half of a fourth. So let's try another one that's a little trickier. So this time we have five sixths. So let me pull up my fraction tiles. So I'm going to put in my sixth, and I need five of them. Three, four, five. And I'm dividing it by two thirds. So we do not have a fraction tile that is two thirds. So we're going to put in our unit fraction of one third and I need to cover all of them. So looking here, here's my picture and I need to recreate this. So I need to make these into six. So there's three, four, five, six. And I have one, two, three, four, five of those six. And every time I have two of them, that makes a third. So I'm going to cut one, two, there's one third, one, two, there's another third, here would be another third. But if we look what I'm circling, I need to circle two thirds, not just one third. So here's one third and here's one third. So together those make two thirds. So I need to circle all of these pieces here. All of those make one group. I need two thirds, cutting it into two thirds. Now this one I can see, right? I do not have enough pieces. This is where my fraction is going to come in. And a lot of us are going to want to just say it's one out of two because we can't see the rest of it because we don't have enough. So I have one piece out of how many should be in this group. So I'm looking back at one of my full groups. How many should be here? One, two, three, 
four. There should be four. So my final answer, if I have five, six, then I want to know how many two thirds can go into that one whole time. And then one piece, and I would need three more to make another whole group. So one and a fourth. So you have these instructions here, you have them in Canvas, you have them in the manipulation station that are reminding you. So we start with what we have and lay it out. So we start with the dividend, our total, the first number, and then we're putting the unit fraction underneath. And then we're going to circle the groups that we need. So remember, this one just wanted one fourth, so I circled every one. This one wanted two, so I circled two. So be sure to remember it's when you're doing the fraction part, I have one, I needed four, right? We have one, we needed four. So if you need to lay it all out, do that. So go ahead and grab your paper from the manipulation station and get your problems done.